Hey, I'm Emma. I was born to Indian parents in New Jersey, but we moved to New York when I was a kid. I wouldn't say my family was rich, but we did get by without trouble. My dad was an accountant, and my mom was a makeup artist. I loved watching mom put on makeup, but I never understood why people wanted to put makeup on themselves. Mom, why do you put makeup on people? Because they want to look pretty, honey. Pretty? I thought it was all like face painting to be a clown. Like, why would having your cheeks and nose so red make someone look pretty? <laughs> <laughs> when you grow up and try it on, you're gonna love it. My life seemed perfect. I got good grades, had tons of friends at school, and was loved by teachers. But when I turned 14, everything turned upside down. I had just returned from India after spending an amazing summer vacation with grandma, and it was time for me to start high school. I was pretty excited for it, but this excitement didn't last long because high school wasn't exactly like I'd imagined. I thought I would be fine as long as I didn't make eye contact, but things didn't go my way. In the first First week of school, I was fixing my favorite lucky bracelet on my wrist when I walked into someone's back and heard a scream right after. Oh no, it was Becca, our school's self-proclaimed queen bee. She was one of those, I hate drama, but I start drama kind of people. Ugh, my phone. Look what you did, you freak. I am so sorry, I didn't see you. Oh, save it. You didn't see me? Are you blind? That was a brand new iPhone. Now you'll get me a new one. Got it? But why would I? Last time I checked, phones weren't allowed inside school. So I guess it's your fault you brought it in the first place. But hey, we can both go talk to the principal if you want to. I can explain how I bumped into you, and you can explain why you have a phone. So what's it gonna be, Rebecca? Don't you dare act smart with me. You messed with the wrong girl. Heard that one before. Bye-bye. Just as I walked away, Becca pushed me. I wasn't gonna let the witch get away with it. So I turned and slapped Becca straight across the face. The next thing I knew, we got into a nasty fight, and in the process, Becca broke my bracelet. It was at that moment that I felt my heart stop like I swallowed a frog. I wanted to scream, cry, and throw up at the same time. I fell to the ground and started pulling my hair. No, no, no. This can't be happening. This is my favorite bracelet. Grandma made it for me. This is the last gift she gave me. Really? I did you a favor. Ugh, it was so ugly. I could feel everyone's eyes glued to me, but I couldn't care less or stop. Then suddenly, everything went black. I had woken up in the nurse's room and found out that I had a panic attack. My parents were informed about what happened, and they were so worried about me. I took a week off, and I heard that Becca was suspended for a week for starting the fight. During this time, I felt so anxious. But one day, when I saw Mom working, I noticed that the step-by-step -step process of applying makeup looked soothing. I observed Mom, and then I started applying minimal makeup whenever I was anxious. I just felt the whole process helped my mind to slow down and focus on something. I told you you would love putting on makeup. You look wonderful. Who knew you were this talented? Learned from the best. A few days later, Becca and I walked into school on the same day. She was out for revenge for her suspension. She filled my locker with wigs and whatnot. I didn't want to react because I knew that would start a fight. I just wanted to get away from all of this, so I told my parents how I needed to change schools. But they couldn't because of some financial issues. So the only solution I could think of for my problem was to get suspended. My first attempt to get suspended was during class. I had put a fart cushion under the teacher's chair so that every time he sat down, it would sound like he farted. But some guy took the credit for it to look cool for pulling off a prank like that. He was suspended instead. Bummer. I had even played loud metal music through the intercom during class and made sure I got caught. But it didn't work. All I got was detention. I wasn't even suspended. As if my prayers had been answered, during summer vacation, I got the best news ever. We were moving back to New Jersey. Dad had gotten an amazing job that paid well. Talk about great timing. Mom and Dad had also told me that they already enrolled me at the new school. Since I didn't have any friends in the new city, I usually stayed home and made Insta videos of my makeup. Soon, I gained tons of followers and people loved the looks I created. One evening, Mom made me go out because I was in my room all the time. I decided to go for a movie by myself. But as I entered the cinema hall, I saw the one person I didn't want to cross paths with, Becca. Just as the lights were dimming, I noticed her and her friend sitting three rows behind me. I immediately crouched down and crawled to my seat, and in doing so, I dropped the entire bucket of popcorn on someone. A boy! Oh, I am so sorry. Hey, are you alright? Is something wrong? Someone bothering you? <laughs> sort of. 
Oh, okay. I got you. Don't worry. Then I felt him put his cap on my head. I watched the movie peacefully thanks to the stranger who introduced himself as Damien. We exchanged numbers and I found out that we go to the same school. He told me he would wait for me at the school gates on the first day and I agreed. We were the last ones to leave the cinema hall. I had to be sure Becca was gone. A couple of days later, I started school and at the gate, I saw Damien waiting for me. He showed me around the school and as we walked through the halls, I felt all eyes on me and it made me feel very conscious. Remember, Emma, keep your head down and stay out of trouble. You know, someone was assigned to show you around the school, actually. My friend Natalie. But I'm so glad she got caught up with some other work and asked me to help her out. Well, it was nice to have Damien show me around, because the guy sure was handsome. Just as we reached our class, a girl entered and looked so excited. Guys, I have amazing news. Wait for it. The principal has agreed to let students write and direct a play all by themselves. Yay! Oh, who do we have here? <gasps> Wait, you must be Emma. Sorry I didn't meet you earlier. That's fine. So, drama club. Sounds cool. Yeah, thanks to me. If it were for this nerd, we would have nothing except for the math club. Oh my god, Natalie. You're the greatest, aren't you? Drama clubs. Well, they are boring. Oh no, they're not. Even though they seemed like rivals, it turned out that they were buddies. <laughs> In fact, they had known each other since they were babies because of their families. Natalie and I started becoming good friends. We would talk about everything under the sun. And one day I noticed that she kept scratching her palms and the skin was peeling off. So I immediately took her hand and applied my hand cream on her palms. And then I went on a rant about how she should take care of herself or it would start to hurt. One afternoon when I went to the cafeteria, I saw her looking at my Instagram page. You're extremely talented, you know. Can you... All of a sudden, I looked up and saw Natalie's face going pale. Natalie, are you okay? She just pointed at her throat, and I figured she was choking. I ran to her side and helped her immediately. Emma, oh my god, you saved my life. Thank you so much. Oh no, I did what I had to. Are you feeling better? Mm-hmm. I owe you one. My lifesaver. When Damien returned from his cousin's place a week later, he was pretty surprised to hear about the choking incident. Wow, protecting my friend when I'm not around? Thanks a lot, Emma. She's my friend too. Now, gotta go. I have to go to this comic book store, Nook, and then home. No way. You go to Nook? We love that place. No, we adore that place, don't we, Natalie? It's just fine, Damien. Damien and I continued to visit Nook every day after school. Natalie would join us sometimes. It was fun. One evening, when it was just Damien and I, I could feel him looking at me. Is your comic book that boring that you're looking everywhere but the book? No, it's just... I wanted to tell you something. Tell me what? I like you, Emma. W what? I like like you. Actually, I kind of liked you that time when you were hiding next to me at the movies. <laughs> it was the first for me. Really? You know what? I think I have liked you too. Since that day, he smiled wide and pulled me in for a kiss. The next day, I told Natalie everything and she was so happy for me. That evening, while we were hanging out at Nook, Natalie announced she was selected to write and direct the play at school and that it was about something that meant a lot to her. OMG, I am so happy for you, Nat. I'm excited too, but also a little nervous. You'll promise to be there, right? Of course. We wouldn't miss it for the world. I was pretty excited for the play, and I even posted about it on my Insta to get as many people to show up for her directorial debut. On the day of the play, the school auditorium was packed. Natalie came on stage and thanked everyone for showing up and said that the play was based on true events and means a lot to her. The play showed the main character getting amazing grades, but it wasn't enough for her parents. The stress she went through and how that caused her to have a problem where she scratched her palms to the point it would hurt her. As the play continued, I saw a scene all too familiar. The main character snaps one day and starts screaming and pulling on her hair in a fit of rage. As she cries, I froze and felt goosebumps all over my body. That was me, the fight with Becca. I started shaking like a leaf in my seat and felt my cheeks get wet. Great, I was crying too. 